guys, thank you so much for stopping by. So I'm gonna be talking about The Darkest Secret by Gina Scholter. This is the cover. And this is a part of the Lords of the Underworld series. This is book number seven. Um, so this is about Amun, which is a Lord of the Underworld. So anyway, I'm gonna give you the information from goodreads.com and then I'm gonna talk about the book after that. So let's see. Keeper of the Demon of Secrets, Amun, or Amun, Amun, Amun can manipulate the darkest thoughts of anyone nearby. But when the immortal warrior is chained and isolated to protect those he loves, death is his only hope for release until he meets Haiti, a fellow prisoner whose beauty and hidden vulnerability draw him into a reckless test of his loyalty. Haiti is a demon assassin, raised to despise Amon's kind, yet how can she hate the man whose touch sets her aflame? Ooh. But to save him, she must give herself body and soul and face the wrath of a powerful adversary sworn to destroy her. So Amon, um, if you don't know about the Lords of the Underworld, each single, each Lord has um, a demon possessing them. And that's why they have um, a sort of like a tribal tattoo, like a butterfly tattoo on them. That is the demon. And they didn't really choose where it's supposed to go. It just kind of appeared in them. Um, so he is the Lord that when he is near somebody, he can absorb their deepest, darkest secrets or even good ones. Um, so he is very afraid every time he opens his mouth because he's worried that um, he's going to say something that is a secret. And because he's a keeper of secrets, he's a lord of secrets, um, if that does happen, he will, he will experience excruciating pain. So everybody has to learn how to do sign language so they can communicate with him. And... Um, Sorry, um, a bunch of birds just flew in front of me. <laughs> kind of worded me out a little bit. So anyway, um, he communicates in sign language. And of course, you know, everybody, like all, all of his brothers, all the other lords also know how to sign just because of that. Um, I really love this book. Um, there's a lot of mystery involved and um, Eamon is very, very mysterious. And I think it's because, I think to me, it's because he doesn't really, he's not very vocal. He's very vocal in sign, but um, he is very observant to me. Um, I like the fact that Haiti was, you know, she's just, her, I mean, her occupation alone is a big hurdle. The biggest hurdle you can think of. And so their journey together was definitely very entertaining. Um, but anyway, before I move forward to that, uh, the, the birds really got me distracted. So the genres for this book is paranormal, romance, paranormal, romance, demons, and fantasy. Um, I feel like because the synopsis is super short, I don't want to give out too much information and have a lot of spoilers. From 1 to 10, I give this a seven i did enjoy it i did love the book however i guess in the series there there are other ones that are more of my favorite versus this one this is definitely not my favorite but that doesn't mean that it wasn't good um i do still give this a two thumbs up and i don't know i feel like amon has this like uh like this beautiful face <laughs> this is how I see it like every time I'm every time like it comes across you know on the pages to me it's like he must be really like one of those things like you put your your just your fist underneath and just stare at his pretty face that's my take to it um so there's a lot of stuff in here that really does encourage to have um an open mind because i mean it is paranormal and a lot of times other people can't it's hard there's different kinds of paranormal subjects and topics and sometimes 
Um, certain ones can be very difficult for people to wrap their heads around. This is just what I'm gathering from, from my observation. Um, but just, you know, for me, if you're new to paranormal, paranormal romance, just paranormal in general, just keep an open mind because you have to think it's in the paranormal genre. And with that said, the, um, it's just the circumstance and the scenario can just be so limitless. Um, so just keep that in mind. So I definitely do recommend this book. I adore this book. It is, again, this is one of my favorite series and I, I love it. I love the Lords. I love, I love their journeys. I love, I love their stories. I just, I love Gina. So, um, thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any suggestions, comments, any advice, for other books and other authors possibly that I might not own their work or I might not own specific books that might be similar to this and beautifully written, please feel free to chat down below. If you love The Lords of the Underworld, um, feel free to, to, to chat down below as well. I love hearing from you guys and your what your take would be. Um, I love chit chat with you guys in general. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.